Okay, today's a new day right now at the bank, and we're about to head up to this wedding, and I'll take you along with me. I'm not going to be the photographer. I just grabbed my camera to take pictures of the conservatory. It's beautiful. You'll see when we get there, so let's go. Okay, we have made it there. So let's go on in, check out this wedding, and have a fun time.
sorry that it's out of focus, but man, this butterfly just landed right on me. That's awesome. All right, we're hungry. Thought we'd come down here and get something to eat. I love this place. And as we're about to leave, look what pulls up. Oh my gosh, there's my dream car. Hopefully soon. Here we are, the streets that I was raised on, in the hilltop. I've been called hilltop trash a lot growing up, but hey, I do miss it up here. Okay, it's 9.54 at night and my friend is doing the delivery and look at the street name, Elm Street. We're doomed, we're so dead, but anyway, we're going to go up to his mechanic. He's going to pick up his car. I'm going to drive it back. I am so freaking tired. Not sure if you can see me. Hi. I am so tired. I haven't got no sleep this whole week. And hi. Okay, I'm stupid. Just ignore me. But anyway, I just thought I'd update you for the vlog. And just say thank you guys. If you're watching this by now, I can't thank you guys enough for watching my videos. It really means a lot to me. It makes me feel like you guys love me or, and you know, stuff like that. So anyway, on we go. We are here for the switcheroo. The bait and switch. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, now it's 10.53. Still early. So thankful that I'm off the next day. But been up around downtown area three times in the last three days for the wedding and then you know spaghetti warehouse and now this i love my downtown just waiting on this guy right here oh here he goes let's do this i can't get it on video but we just passed osu stadium go buckeyes yeah that sounds kind of rare for me to say because i don't watch sports they got boring to me but i still will cheer on the buckeyes so yeah, go Buckeyes. Another reason why I can't wait to get the Challenger is to do late night cruises just like this. Uh-oh, one time over there, one time. I hope you guys get what that is. Anyway, I just can't wait to get that car so I can do like some videos of late night cruises because I love doing that. On days that I don't gotta work the next day, I love to get into the car and just drive around because 
I don't know why, it just feels so relaxing to have the windows down, cranking some heavy metal, and I don't know, that's just me. What do you guys do if you're off of work the next day, you're on vacation or whatever? Do you guys go driving around your city at night or during the daytime just to have fun? You go outside to throw some football or I don't know, what in the world is it that you guys like to do on your free time? Just let me know in the comments below. I would like to know exactly what it is that you guys do. And my other question is, what goal is it of yours to accomplish this year? Is it to get married? Is it to get a house? Is it to get a dream job? I would love to hear from you guys. Let me know in the comments below what is it that you want to accomplish. And I really hope you guys accomplish everything that you have on your mind. So let me know in the comments below. I want to put this down and go back to driving. I am not looking at the camera at all. I'm looking at the road just to let you know. But I feel better if I concentrate on the road more. So on we go. And we have made it back to his place. Bonus points if you guess what movie this is from. Hey, where are all the white woman at? I don't know. It's all dark out here. And we got a flashlight near a car. This won't look suspicious. No, not at all. <laughs> don't call the cops. Okay, it looks like my frame's not going to be done by the time I finish up this video. So I'll make a separate video of me going and picking that up if you want to check it out. So, a long story short, I've done these videos in the past and forgot to do an update video of my garage. I did two videos on my channel if you're interested in checking it out. One of them is where I did that all myself and it's still holding up really well. It's not bowing or anything. It's up there really tight for my Halloween decorations. And standing all the way at the back where the cars are right now, I pulled them out so that way you can see the whole side of the garage. The left side right here, it's done. Not well, that is. I mean, I've never put drywall up compounded it and painted it from scratch before this side's not done yet i plan on getting this side done got to compound the rest and paint it but for now i just didn't care at the moment because i was just worried about getting these up here because our it was getting pretty cramped in the closets on the upstairs so i just decided to make a shelf right here for the christmas crap and i have a little space right there to get one more shelf to fill up with more stuff and up along the side right here, I do have some jack stands, some ramps to work on my car because, you know, when I get this Challenger, I just won't trust taking it into places with all the horror stories that I see on YouTube. Over there in the corner by the door to the house, I got my three buckets and all the magic right over here. Well, let me skip to right here. I do need to get a ladder hook or oh, a couple of them that is to put up along the wall just like that. And that is my DIY fence I made. I did a video on that. And over here in the corner is where I keep all my stuff to clean, the cars, the house, whatever. Okay, over in this corner, I have four drawers right here. The first one's full of about 50 microfiber towels that don't leave lint behind. That's important for car detailing. Second drawer, I have a couple of wash and scrub pads, and I also have some towels for waxing and some waterless wash towels. The third drawer is where I keep my Adam's drying cleaner towel so i got that in there for now and the applicator pads and on the bottom that's where i keep the glass cleaner supplies and my shelf right here is where i keep all my supplies to where i got like light bulbs for the house some gloves and all that while you work on your car and i got my adams cleaners collection right here except that foam cannon i got from walmart.com it works just as good as the other ones that you see for like 60 to 80 if not 90 bucks Got that for 14 bucks on walmart.com. Couple other cleaners. Down here is where I got my polisher from Harbor Freight, some Meguiar's mirror glaze stuff, some ultra finishing compound and ultra cut compound. And I have a container for the oil. And right here, just a random toolbox. Nothing but tools in there. You've seen one, you've seen them all pretty much. Here is my pressure washer I got from Lowe's. Here along this shelf, I have a random box on the top for important papers to burn gardening crap and then of course some spray paint cans you know you can see it on the video that's what this shelf is for and this one this is where i throw all my dirty microfiber towels to be washed later on and of course a little vacuum i'm going to replace here very soon and that's going to do it for my garage update and as a matter of fact the whole video so i can't appreciate you guys enough for watching and if you want to see how that frame turned out i would advise to stay tuned because the way it looked on the computer it was mind-blowing. I can't wait for you guys to see it. I'll just do a whole separate video of that, just like my very first Michael's Custom Frame. So 
I'm going to go ahead, call it quits here. Thank you everyone for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Check you later.